Hi friends, welcome back once again to the last part of this tutorial series. In this part, we will discuss about the final retouching with Adobe Photoshop. We will play with some adjustment layers and adding atmospheric fog also add the volume light to the scene with Photoshop. Guys, you are watching tutorials from Adari CG Tutorials on YouTube. And for more tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's get started. Friends, we opened our rendered image with Photoshop. Here you can see that. At the background, we need to put some atmospheric fog and also need to create a volume light that comes from this corner. Apart from these things, first we are gonna play with some adjustment layers. First, add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and increase the brightness value little bit like 20 and drag down the contrast value something like minus 6. Next, add a hue and saturation layer adjustment and drag down the hue value and drag down the saturation little bit and also the lightness. Now the hue value will become minus 2, the saturation value will be minus 10 and the lightness value will be minus 2. Next add a color balance adjustment, drag down the cyan to red value, then increase the value of magenta to green and also decrease yellow to blue value. Now the cyan to red value is minus 10, magenta to green is 7 and yellow to blue is minus 9. Then add a level adjustment layer and make a little change in the mid tones and also make some changes in dark tones. Now the values are 3.98 and leave the lighter portion as it is. Finally, we need to add a curve adjustment layer. Drag up the RGB value little bit up. Now we can make changes in individual channels. First select the red, drag it down little bit, something like this. And choose the green and drag it up little bit, ok. These all are the adjustment layers which I added. Next step is to adding fog on the background. For doing that, make a new layer, name it as fog. With the fog layer selected, come to the filter, render and select the clouds. Now you can see here the layer filled with clouds. Just change the blending mode of this layer as green. Now you can see the changes. Now you can see this. The fog is filled with the whole area of the scene. We don't need fog on this entire area. Just we need only the background. And we also need to bring the tears to the foreground. For doing that we need to apply a mask. Here is the mask which I used. Just copy this mask and paste it over here. And make it as a clipping mask. Now you can see some portion from the fog are disappeared. We need to position this mask properly. Start positioning that. Oh, some mismatching is here. For fixing that, transform this layer. Hold on the shift and decrease the size little bit. Again start make proper position. Yeah, this is ok. Just have a look. You can see here, we brought the deer to the foreground. Ok, the fog appearing here is too much heavy. We wanna reduce that. Select the fog layer and decrease the opacity. Make it uh, something like ok 50. Ok, now it is good. Now we need to blend the fog. For doing that, with the mask layer selected, choose a brush with black color and paint here. Now we need to make the volume light that come from the corner. Add a new layer. 
and come to the brush settings and reduce the brush size and choose a white okay something little bit grayish tone okay and draw a few lines like this come to the filter blur and motion blur change the blur direction and also the blur amount ok transform it by simply pressing ctrl T on your keyboard and click the right mouse button and select distort start distorting the volume light ok we are ready with our volume light the volume light look like to light we need it little bit more hard for that just make one more copy of this layer finally once more add a hue and saturation layer on it and increase the saturation value something like this ok just invert this mask by pressing ctrl i and select a brush with white color and bring back the green color from the leaves and the grass this will help you to make the image look like more realistic finally we need to make a light source that come from the back side for doing that add a new layer under the fog layer and choose a soft brush and increase the brush size and choose a color something like this ok and paint it over here now you can see it is too bright we need to decrease its opacity also need to change the blending mode yeah this color burn is ok for us and adjust its opacity yeah this much is enough ok friends we made all the adjustments here this is our final output image you can play with some other kind of adjustments depending on your creativity this is all about this part here and this tutorial series i will back with a new tutorial soon guys you are watching tutorials from adari cg tutorials on youtube for more updates don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned for next new tutorial thanks for watching bye for now